A 30-60-90 triangle is a right triangle with angles that measure 30, 60, and 90 degrees. There is a pattern to the lengths of the sides of this triangle that you do have to memorize. The leg that is adjacent to 60 degrees is X, or just a number. The hypotenuse is two times that number. And the leg adjacent to the 30 degrees is square root of three times that number. The mnemonic that I personally use to help remember this is that the two legs are similar in that they both begin with X, with the two being the oddball out. And the leg that is closest to the 30 degrees is the one that has the square root of three. There are two threes on the same side. To show you how we would use this, if they give you the side that's down here that corresponds to X, you would then just multiply it by two to get this side and by square root of three to get this side. If they start with the hypotenuse, you need to work backwards. If they told you this side was 14, since that is equal to two times X, you would need to divide by two to fi figure out what X is. 14 divided by two is seven. Then we would multiply by square root of three to get the other side. Seven square root of three would be my answer. The one wrinkle they are going to throw at you at some point is to give you a whole number over here on the side that is X square root of three. To solve for the other sides, you will have to know how to simplify square roots. In this case, 10 would be equal to that x square root of 3. So to solve for x, I would need to divide both sides by square root of 3. This gives me 10 over the square root of 3 as my x, but I need to simplify so I don't have a radical in the denominator here. And it would be 10 square root of 3 over 3. I check to see if these can be simplified any further. They can't, so I know that my x is 10 square root of 3 over 3. To get the final hypotenuse, I need to multiply this by 2, which really just means multiplying that top left <laughs> number there by 2. So 20 square root of 3 over 3. And again, double check always that these are not able to be simplified any further. If you would like a more in-depth explanation about simplifying square roots and 30, 60, 90 triangles, please click on the long form videos linked in the description below. And be sure to check out my new math related and math adjacent merch on Spreadshop and Etsy. And if this is helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later, bye.